Before deploying an application into my Kubernetes cluster, I want to make sure that my YAML files and my Helm charts all respect the best practices in terms of security and configurations. I want to get a warning if I forget to configure the liveness probes, the readiness probes, or if I allow a root to run in my container, or if I forget to set the CPU and memory requests and limits. So there are multiple tools that will allow you to scan your YAML and your Helm charts, and they will tell you if you have one of these misconfigurations. Today, we'll see one of these tools, which is Kubelinter, and we'll see how to use that within our CI CD pipelines using Azure DevOps. So let's get started. So Kubelinter, that's an open source project managed by Stackrocks, and it's available on GitHub on this page. Kubelinter will define lots of checks that it will run against our YAML manifest files and our Helm charts. Those checks are defined into this web page. Those uh, checks will check if you have any dangling services or if you are using default service account or if you have deprecated service account fields or if you specify secrets as environment variables and if you have mismatching selectors, maybe you are using the uh, not maybe you are not configuring correctly the readiness probe and the liveness probes or you are using the privileged container you are opening an ssh ports or maybe you are not setting the cpu and memory uh, limits for your uh, containers for the demo that i've prepared today i have here actually a sample yaml file and the sample helm charts and i want to uh, run checks against those deployment files using kubelinter so let's first see how kubelinter works. So here from my command line, I've run the kubelinter command line against my pod.yaml and against my helmet charts. So here it shows, you, it shows me the uh, errors that were found after scanning those YAML files. So for my pod, for example, it detected that here I'm not uh, specifying the read-only root for file system, I'm not specifying the CPU requests and limits and also the memory requests and limits. And then here after I have scanned my Helm chart, I detected that here uh, I'm configuring wget container that's not recommended and I forget also the CPU requests and I'm running as non-root and so on. So it will detect all of these and you, you will be able to fix your deployments before, deplo before uh, running them into your Kubernetes cluster. And if I take a look back at the pod that I have scanned here, you see that here I don't have the uh, memory uh, and CPU resource limits defined as you see here. I'm, I define it only the requests, but I miss the, uh, the limits. And if I take a look at the Helm chart, I will see that I'm missing lots of configurations in my deployment.yaml. Now let's see how we can run those checks from our CI CD pipeline. So here I have the pipeline defined by Azure DevOps. And in this pipeline, I'm not using the command line for kubelinter, but rather I am using here the Docker image created by uh, kubelinter, where I want to, lint, to run the command kubelinter lint and then my YAML file. And here I'll, I'll mount a volume that contains my YAML files. In this case, it's gonna be this uh, uh, Kubernetes YAML sample that is the one defined by the variable YAML folder. And that's my Kubernetes YAML sample. I run a second script here to get those helm uh, or to uh, to scan the helmet chart defined by the variable chart folder so i'm running the same command but uh, but applying it into a different folder in my uh, in my application let's now see this pipeline from azure devops so into here i have defined that pipeline right here and now if i go to run this pipeline in azure devops all I get here is this window with these two tasks, run static kubelinter for the YAML manifest files. And here you, I'll be able to see the checks that were run inside the Docker container. And here I can see the results for the three lint errors specified into here. So where it shows me here, the read only root file system is not configured and the uh, CPU limit and memory, use it, uh, memory limit are not specified. And this second task here, I'm scanning the Helm chart. And so here it will find those 12 lint errors 
from my Helm chart. So all of these runs inside that Docker container. Great, let's now move to GitHub. So the same, almost the same steps for that pipeline could also run on GitHub. So we're here in the same uh, GitHub repo for this uh, sample demo. I have defined it a GitHub Actions pipeline. This pipeline will run, will go to check out the application source code and then it will run two steps. First step, which will scan the YAML files. And here I'm not using the Docker container, but instead I'm using a GitHub action defined by uh, for uh, specifically for kubelinter. And into this action, I'm just passing here the YAML, of, the YAML uh, folder kubelinter will run the uh, kubelinter uh, lint command against this YAML folder. And then the same here, but for the helm charts, where I'm using again the kubelinter action. Now let's see this pipeline in action. So here after running that pipeline in GitHub, I'll be able to see here the scan for the YAML and the scan for the helm charts. And again, I'll see the same output for that we'll find these three lint errors related to the uh, misconfigurations and my memory and CPU uh, limits and the same for the cube uh, for the helm charts. With kubelinter you can customize those checks. So kubelinter will run its own default checks, okay, but you can also create your own default uh, checks or customize those checks. Actually, you can define a config.yaml file in which you will find you will put the checks that you want to run or the checks that you want to exclude. And you can also define your own custom uh, checks to apply them with the command kubelint uh, lint. I hope this demo was helpful for you. If you are looking for more content, go check out my YouTube channel.